everybody, welcome back to the Indecisive Collector. My name is Nancy and today I'm going to show you all how I made these really cool journals and with material that you probably have in your house right now. It's really simple. I feel like you can make a bunch of these if you want to make, you know, give them out to your friends as gifts or if you want to just make a bunch of extra journals for taking notes in in school so you don't waste journals that you need for other projects. But that's all really up to you. If you want to know how I made this, go ahead and keep watching for further instructions and I will be posting complete written instructions to this on my Tumblr afterwards. Alright guys, let's get started. You will need scissors, thread, a really thick needle because it makes making the holes in the book easier, paper of your choosing, I'm using grid paper, and cardstock because that'll be the cover. First things first, take the number of sheets of paper that you want for your book and fold them in half like this. It is much easier if you need to split the paper up so that you can make the holes because if the paper is too thick, the holes are going to be really difficult to make. Then you're going to take your cardstock and measure it against your paper that you are going to be using. Sometimes paper is a little smaller than cardstock. If you want to cut it to size, that is up to you. I feel like I didn't have to. You're going to take your needle and then you're going to poke holes in the indent of your book. You know, like when you folded it over to make it look like a little journal. That little line that the indent has, that's where you're going to poke your holes. Ideally, you would have a ruler to help you, but I do not have one of those, so I used my fingers <laughs> to measure increments. You are going to have to have a couple of holes in the middle, obviously, but you are most definitely going to want to have holes at the top and bottom because it will secure the journal better so that it doesn't flop around. Then you're going to thread your needle. All you have to do for that is take your thread and get a really, really long piece because you're going to kind of fold it. You're going to take your thread, feed it through the hole of the needle, and then make sure that the needle is in the middle of the thread, fold that thread, and then tie a little knot. The knot you are going to be tying is going to be very small because you don't want it to kind of look weird with the book, you know? So then once you've got the knot tied and you're sewing the book, make sure you're very gentle with your first line of sewing because if you pull too hard, you are going to pull the thread all the way through. And if you do that, you're going to have to start all over again and that's going to be real poopy. So once you have sewn it all the way once, you're going to keep sewing it. And I sewed up and down about three times. And this is how you're going to be sewing it. Since you have your different stacks of paper that you have ready for this with holes already in them, it's going to be much easier and you're not going to have to force the needle with thread through so many stacks. So that's why I asked you guys to make the holes in them earlier. And this is all you're doing is you're putting it through one side, turning the book around, putting it through the next hole, turning the book around again, putting it through the next hole. And you don't have to turn the book around if you're really good at sewing and you can already tell where the hole is. I just did it to make really, really sure because I didn't want to poke more holes in the book. Because remember guys, this is paper and holes could start very easily. I poked like three that I didn't have to. And that's what it's going to look like when you're done with that. If you just want it to look like that, you can go ahead and stop here. But I wanted to add a cover to make it look nicer and having a cover to it protects the paper from getting really gross. So at least if anything happens to it, the cover is the one that gets dirty. Then all you're going to do is sew the paper with the cover and that's it. You're going to sew it all just like you did the paper on its own. If you want to sew the cover onto the paper um, at the beginning instead of waiting till the end like I did, you could do that too. It's just if you're using a lot of paper, it might be a little easier to do it this way. And then you can add stickers the way I did here to decorate or you can put washi tape. And for me, that's just to cover up the thread. If you use white thread with white paper, it will probably look more professional. But I was using black thread so that I would be able to show you guys um, how I was sewing it. That's it for this DIY, guys. If you want to see more like this, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye!